What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach. I'm out here with Youth Man, and we're going to be checking out at M Wave 2022 a killer home theater comparison. Yeah. You want to tell them what you're going to see? Today? Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at the Sony 5000, and then we're also going to be comparing that to the NZ7, which is the brand new JVC. laser projection laser, yeah. from JVC. So we're excited about this. It's going to be a blast. We're going to see how do these work. How do they look? What are the differences on a 150 inch a Seymour uh, excellent screen? So this is gonna be epic. I think you're gonna enjoy it. This is big. Let's get into it. We're on to the Harry Potter scene now. That's right. Oh, oh, he turned the AC on. Yeah. Didn't he? He turned his contract on. Yeah. Wow. Hey, man. Great. That's <laughs> about that. It's just the same screen as yours. One is blinding. This is the nice now comparison of these two. You got it? Yep. Got it. <laughs> So we're in the Harry Potter again. Uh, this is Goblet of Fire. And shoot the light one. All right. So the brightness is pretty consistent on the right. Well, here you're seeing obviously a lot of uh, brightness difference, but what about things like color difference? So there's brightness. This, this is one of those examples of interpretation of even though they're both getting the same signal, they've both been Ooh, calibrated the, the same. Far back. So what we're seeing is the right, although it's brighter, you're losing a lot of detail within the brightness and color. So on the right, you notice that's clipping the color. This is what I'm seeing here as well. In this scene, we are definitely clipping out the color. It is bright, but it's white. On the left hand side, it's bright, but there's still some yellow tones. And so if you want pure brightness, the projector on the right is then what you consider fixing it. So the right Lacking a little color, it's clipping a little bit. It's super bright. <laughs> yes. Now, for here, it's, I mean, you can tweak. A lot of these are using the defaults mm -hmm. out of the box um, mm -hmm. for HDR processing. Right. It, the, whatever tone mapping system. For whatever tone it's mapping, you left it on default for tone mapping. Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you calibrate every color. Uh, but it's, there's a little bit of subjective preference here. If you describe this as black crushing on the left, projector on the left. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of shadow detail crush there. And, I'm, and I love the highlights, the specular highlight on the right, the reflection of the face. Yes. This entire scene, I, I noticed the detail in the specular highlights on the right for sure. Yeah. This is a great scene. The, the black levels are definitely different, it's definitely better, but it's not horrible. Yeah. It's not really bad on the left. It's, it's really a tone mapping issue here, that it's not pulling that detail out on the left. The right's really punchy. I mean, at, at this point, the right TV looks to be quote unquote the one that most consumers will buy if they watch a demo between the two of them. Yeah, if you're sitting here, you're you're gonna have a favorite. So this is the motion, the testing motion here, and can you tell me, Andrew, what you see in terms of motion? Yeah, what I see here is, uh, I'm seeing the one on the left is, is handling motion better. <clears throat> There's a little bit less judder. It's not, it's not completely smooth, like it's being uh, so popular. Um, but it's getting smooth and shiny now, it's the last anyway, so you can just And this is the challenge a lot of you guys will have, is we're going to budget, you have two projectors, one is clearly brighter, but then the motion in that one may be challenged, and you're sensitive to motion, you might have to find an alternative, something off the left, Although all the details were better resolved, it just does not get as bright. But if motion is what bothers you, that ends up being more distracting. If you don't have the motion you desire, right? So it comes down to your priorities. But yeah, if you're on the right side, right, it's almost brute force in its way to get your attention. I think the calibrations are good. Yeah. Michael just said the scene on the right, really dark, somebody was crying, and the tears were visible on the right, but you couldn't see them on the projector on the left. So the same scene, there was a set of stairs that you could see on the right, but you could not see on the left. So the one on the right, the white levels were the only thing that could be compensated for while the black levels were, were really good. But the projector on the right was the JVC NZ7, and the one on the left was the Sony 5000. 
do keep in mind that there is a significant price difference between those two projectors. Right, so there was detail on the left, but things were just kind of clipped and blown out on the right. Woo, what'd you guys think of this shootout? The Sony 5000ES and the NZ7, also known as the RS2100, are a couple of the top contenders in 2022 here. So I was super excited to have our team out here at M-Wave 2022, seeing this in live, you know, side-by-side -side action. There are no other events where you're gonna see competitors going head-to-head. -head. You know here at Dream Media, we are behind the scenes checking this stuff out, getting our hands on it, and making sure to give you guys a real honest opinion. We don't just sell projectors for the heck of it. We're not your average home theater company. We wanna make sure we're giving you an honest opinion and really getting down and dirty with it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this content and found it informative in helping you make a buying decision. If you guys would like to purchase anything electronic related, especially projectors. Make sure to reach out and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation with free shipping and we have a preferred installer network in over 18 different states at this time and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Well if you guys like this video give us a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.